right. Uh, Got to win tough, hard-fought matches. Um, I was just looking at this sheet and uh, it tells the results of this weekend and uh, see a lot of one-point matches that didn't go our way. Um, so in any tough, hard tournament like this, and this is the best uh, in-season tournament that we're wrestling, uh, probably the second best behind the scuffle um, that, that we have during the season. So, um, you know, everybody's like, well, it's tough competition out there. Well, that's, that's what we want to see. Uh, we want to see tough competition. We want to see where we're at against that tough competition. Um, you know, so there, there's some definitely areas that we know that we have to have to get better on. We have to have a go-to attack. Um, you know, you lose a 3-2 match, and, and you kind of see as the time winds down and guys kind of not sure where they want to go. Um, that's something that we have to work on as a, as a staff and as a team. We have to have, we have guys have a go-to setup that they can go to. They have to have attack that they know that they can get to. Um, and right now, I think some of our guys are a little bit unsure about that. And uh, we have to be able to change that. And, and the good thing is, is we do have time. Um, but... You know, I'm, I'm more of a guy that, let's do it now. You know, we don't need to wait to, to do it uh, in January, February, or March. We want to do it now. So I, I can tell you this, we will get back to work. Um, we will make some adjustments, and, and we'll get this team better. Um, you know, some guys are, you know, well, we got some guys out. It doesn't matter. Whoever you send out there, you, you have expectations of, of how they're going to compete. Um, and I thought the guys competed hard. Um, you know, we have some guys that probably aren't, our regulars right now in the lineup, um, they competed hard, uh, but they still had opportunities to win matches. And, and they're kind of what I talked about is, you know, those close, tough, hard-fought matches, we have to be able to win. Um, if we want to be a good team and we want to we want to make a mark at the national tournament, um, which our team does. Um, so uh, we'll get our guys healthy. We'll get them ready for uh, the UNI Open and uh, get them ready for the second half of the season. So uh, individually, you know, we only had three guys placed. We had three guys that were seated coming in. Those three guys placed. Um, you know, the other thing is when uh, when you come into a tournament like this, you want to beat guys that you're not supposed to beat. Um, and, and we didn't beat a whole lot of guys that maybe we weren't supposed to beat. Um, so, you know, that's another thing that as a, as a team we'll, we'll continue to work on and get better at. Um, you know, we had a lot of guys competing this weekend, um, not only out in Las Vegas, but up in Buena Vista. I think we had four champs. Guys won a lot of matches. Um, we had a lot of our... Uh, our high school guys, our recruits, um, wrestled wrestled this weekend too, um, and, and had some big wins. So uh, a lot of wrestling for you and I went on this weekend. Um, a lot of good results. A lot of results that we want to we want to change. So um, we'll get back to work and do that. So any questions? What are you looking at this weekend at the Open? As far as like just can you give us any preview of teams involved? Or um, I know Michigan State's bringing their team. Um, as far as that, I'm not sure who else is bringing D1 teams. I know that there'll be um, a lot of backups, usually from. Uh, and redshirt guys from from the surrounding schools, um, you know it's it's been a good tournament. There's been 250, 300. Um, it's usually a good tournament. I, I can tell you this: we probably won't wrestle everybody. Um, we have to make sure that we get guys healthy and keep them healthy for the season, um, and that's that's more important. Um, I'm not a guy. I tell you what: I'm I'm the last guy that will will bow guys out of tournaments. Um, I'm not a guy who likes to default guys out of tournaments, but you have to be smart and, and have a bigger picture. You know, as a coach, um, so having the bigger picture is is a smart thing to do. Um, did I want Dylan Peters to wrestle the rest of that tournament? Yes, I did. But we're getting him ready for March, and that that's what's most important right now um, is getting him ready for that. And you know, as a coach, sometimes you have to you have to keep a guy in check too, because um, you know what? There, as a competitor inside of them, they want to go out there. And as a coach, you gotta okay, let's see where you're at. What's going on here? Okay, well, you know what? You're gonna sit out the rest of this. So. Um, you and I open will be a good tournament because there's still some weight classes I think that are still up in the air. You know, if you look at our, uh, you look at our lineup right now, there's probably some weight classes. You're like, well, who's going to step up here? <laughs> and I know I'm, I'm doing the same thing, so um, that'll be a good test for some of our guys to to see if they're they're going to step up and be the guy. You know, I think it, it's best when guys do it out in competition. You know, the the wrestle offs are kind of one thing, but when they go out in competition, they can do it. That's a whole nother thing. So um, some of these weight classes are are going to not be decided, but I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna gonna put a guy forward here this weekend, um, and then we'll we'll get ready to take those guys out to New York. So uh, that kind of this weekend will set a little bit of what we're gonna take out to New York, and then we get our Christmas break. So I don't know if that answers your question or not, but I'm not exactly sure who will be here, but I know it'll be a good tournament. Can you mention a couple of specific guys that you'll really be looking at to step up this weekend, Coach? 
Um, well, I think that there's, there's a few weight classes that, uh, you know, there's a few weight classes that, you know, 41, you know, is a, is a, is a guy like Etherington. I think uh, Tyler Patton will be back this weekend. Um, you know, Jake Hodges, who's going who's gonna to step up there out of there, 49 a little bit. You know, Gunnar Wolfensberger, I know he wants to, to get that spot. Um, you know, and, and there's 97. You know, Mento wants to get that spot too in, in Crumweedy. So um, there's still some, some weight classes that, you know, if you're looking at it, I want, I want to have somebody that goes out and takes it takes it kind of by the throat like I talked about earlier this season and, and guys haven't done that quite yet. Um, so I want them to have a firm grasp on that on that on that spot and really take take hold of it and, and make it a make it a spot where you know everybody's like, okay, we know we know who we got here and that guy's gonna be out there every 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 time and I know what it, we're gonna get out of him. So um, so still a little bit up in the air. How tough is it for you to have a lot of weight classes at this part of the season, maybe up in the air and not settled. Do, do you like that competition, or would you rather have more of a set lineup right now? Well, I think I'd rather have it where you get the number one or number two guy in the country in every weight class. That'd make it a lot easier. <laughs> uh, but you know, having competition in the room is a good thing, though. Uh, you know, having guys kind of on edge a little bit. And for what I mean by on edge is is that hey, you know what? I'm going to try to outdo this guy. You know, I'm not going to, I see kind of this guy working. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ratchet it up another notch. So then he's got to raise his level. Um, so I think it is good. Um, you know, it's, it's okay that a guys don't just, you know, okay, the spot's mine. Because just having a spot isn't, isn't enough either. You know, we want these guys that, that they're thinking way beyond that. Of just, just not being just the guy in our lineup. Um, they want to be the guy nationally too. So we got to get guys thinking that way. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm not concerned about that. I'm more concerned that we continue to develop these guys. We get them, we get them better. And in, in, in some of the mistakes that we're making right now, um, individually as a team, we're not making in January, February, March. You know, that's more what my concern is, other than who's going to be the guy. Because I, I know that we have capable guys at every weight class, and multiple capable guys at every weight class. Sometimes it's just about getting those guys to believe in, in their abilities more, and really getting through, getting through up here. Because um, I tell you what, we got the skills in that room. It's just. Sometimes mentally, there's some fear. There's a lot of things there that, that we're trying to, trying to that, that doubt we're trying to cast out, and uh, we'll continue to work on that. And guys will get better at it. Um, but having having open weight classes right now, it's okay. We just got to get a guy to step up, and, and this weekend's a good opportunity for these guys to step up.